Hey guys, it's Kazo. We're back with some more first, uh, Persona 5 Strikers. Uh, we are about to take on Alice, but first we've got to send a calling card so that all those desires can become manifest again. Uh, let's go ahead and do that, and we'll see yeah. what happens. All right. In other news, Akira Kanoe, founder of Medith, announced a joint project with one-time rival company, Pineapple. Tech heads are fired up with anticipation at the news, awaiting further details with Hey, look! Okay, folks, listen up! Good evening. Been a while, huh? Perhaps you remember us. We are the Phantom Thieves. And we're back in action with a new heart in our sights. A wicked witch who treats people like toys. Alice Hiragi. You pretend you're a ray of light, but all you do is hurt people to indulge your own darkness. You're a bad person, and bad people have to be stopped. And all those desires you stole. Tonight, we're taking them all back. Let's go. like these, I know I'm supposed to be a bit. Hey, what do you think I'm that is? Oh, right, we got it! I'm here to see you through. Rock for your eyes. Look, the chain goes all the way to the top. Open the lock. Climbing this should give us a straight shot to the birdcage of desire. Some fun music's so good. Uh, 
know. Look at the size of that thing. What are we doing now? How do you steal something like that? I admit, I don't know either. What's that? It's her! Alice. So, it's a fight after all. Oh dear. You thought you'd just sneak in like that. And what exactly do you plan on doing with those desires? Hey you! Joker, right? Did you come back to me so you could be mine? seized people's desires by force and turned them into your puppets. You toyed with people's emotions and made them mistreat one another. You even opened up stores so you could bilk all the people you brainwashed. We can no longer overlook the wicked changes of heart you forced on the people. The Phantom Thieves are about to beat the distortion out of you. The Kamaki-san, you're so beautiful. There's no way you could understand. You have no clue what I've been through. You mean what happened to you at Shujin? Uh, where did... How? We know all of it. How you were bullied. How it was torture for you. But I still... Oh, okay. You found out. No matter how much I hide it, Past still comes back to me. How pathetic! What a mess! But that doesn't matter now. With this power, I can have everything. Everything I've always wanted. Mine! And now, I'm gonna make you mine! Alice in Wonderland. Oh my! I'm late for a very important date! Come along, come along! I have such wonders to show you! What wonders? <laughs> Ignore her, Sophie. She just wants to torture us. Alice, I'm gonna make you see the light! Oh, 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 Yet, Oracle, one set, analyzing. Fire! Permit! Right on! 
got the party popper. You had your chance, but now this goes to the pole. That's when you blast her. Raining confetti upon the stage. That would be quite pleasing and aesthetic. You can chase me around all she wants. Oh, they bring what to Sophie! 
stay back. Keep going. You'll just make yourself feel even worse. How would you know? Oh. I just can't compare to someone like you, Takamaki-san. All my life, I'm no match for the real winners. Uh. And I tried so hard to change. I was still made fun of, still bullied. I just wanted to stop being miserable. I poured my heart into fashion and worked to get so far. But then, she showed up again and started running her mouth about my past. She told everyone what a pathetic little shit I was. <sighs> That's why I took all of it from her, her boyfriend, her social circle, everything. And that still wasn't enough for me. It wasn't just her. Everyone that talked behind my back, all the people who just stood there when I was kidding. I'll destroy every single one. 
Alice. So this is a wound in a heart. <laughs> this power lets me get revenge. So I... You became the bully, right? You idiot! What good does that do? Now you're just as bad as the people who made you suffer. Is that how you want to live? Like one of those bullies? Didn't you want to be something else? A ray of light for others. And for yourself. <sighs> Son, I I want to apologize to the people I hurt and start over. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can turn it around. I've been through a lot of the same things. But thanks to my best friend and the Phantom Thieves, I was able to stand up for myself and do the right thing. You're never alone. Once you're back to your real self, Let's be friends, okay? You wanna be... Really? Uh-huh. I mean, I totally love Alice. <laughs> we even share the same dream. <sighs> Thank you. <sighs> I'll go back now. Where I belong. This time, I'm gonna be... That was effing amazing! Did we just witness the desires returning to their rightful owners? Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Everyone who got a desire disappeared afterward. I hope that means their real life counterparts are returning to normal. entirely, right? Yeah, we always had to haul ass out of there. That is most assuredly not happening now. If anything, it's grown eerily quiet. So, if the monarch is toppled, and the desires are all returned, the jail still doesn't collapse? It would appear that palaces are different from this jail, after all. There's a chance we haven't actually resolved the issue yet. 
I wonder how Alice will react to this. Could we find out when we get back to the real world? It'd be nice if she could recall what happened here, but no one shares memories with their shadows. You mean she might talk to Panther? Huh? Me? Yeah, yeah! You two could really hit it off! She did say that she loves her. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was worth going that far for her to come to her senses. <laughs> Alice really is a one-of-a-kind talent. And her dream is definitely something worth fighting for. I just hope she can remember how that dream first made her feel. So she can bring that feeling to the people who need it. I don't know if there's anything I can do to help her, but I at least want to be there for her. Fascinating. What's up, Sophie? Just as the Phantom Thieves predicted, Alice Hiragi appeared to change her logic. This would not be possible had we simply defeated her. How did you predict the outcome? We didn't really predict it. Being able to change is what makes someone human. Someone is human because they can change. The human heart is much more complicated than expected, isn't it? Just when you think you've grown beyond your pain, the smallest thing can bring you all the way back down again. The human heart is indeed difficult to comprehend. It's filled with mysteries. Well, you're pretty high up there on the mystery charts yourself, Sophie, my dear. No, I'm... Sophie, humanity's companion, right? We get it. You got it, Skull. Well, yeah. <laughs> Not bad, Skull. Do you really get it? <laughs> What do you say we head back now? I'd like to check on the real world, Alice. Yeah, <laughs> let's get going. very angry with Shadow Alice earlier. By the end, though, she appeared happy. Why is that? Wasn't she angry at Alice? Okay. Anger is not just for hurting people. It is also able to save people. in the wrong, anger can be used to show them the error of their ways. The human heart is such a mystery. But thanks to you, I've gained valuable experience. Thank you. I hope to learn more from you. Good to go road tripping now. And now for the hottest meet and greet. Alice Hiragi has returned as our special guest. Miss Alice, thank you so much for coming on today, despite the last visit's conclusion. From what I hear, there's something you wish to share? Yes, I need to confess something. The incident that occurred with the previous hosts that was all my fault. I forced him to proclaim his love for me during a live broadcast. When I heard he was engaged to his co-host, I just wanted to ruin their relationship. Well, Miss Alice. And they're not the only ones. Anytime I see a happy woman, I just get so jealous. 
I do whatever it takes to ruin their lives. Uh, um, is this is this a prank or something? All of my past managers tried so hard to stop me. But then I'd lash out at them too, and and I'd assault them until they backed down. The only reason I've changed managers is because my last one had a total breakdown. Wait, are you... is this real? Everything I've said here is the truth. I'm sure all of it is easy enough to prove now. I've lied and I've... it hurt so many people. And I'm just so sorry for it all. Is this... the, the Phantom Thieves? I'm the one who did it all. No one but me did these horrible things. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Cut! Cut! Right now! Up to standby! Alice. This is gonna blow way up. That news lady even name-checked the Phantom Thieves. Well, whatever may come, at least our job's done. Right. We may have gone through something quite different from the palace. There's no mistaking Alice had a change of heart. The people with the stolen desires seem to be normal again, too. It's all over the internet. My son was about to blow our savings on Alice merch, but the Phantom Thieves rescued him. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. I'm just seeing a lot of, I want my money back. Well, we sure can't help him there. I'm not sure everyone's actually a victim here. Nevertheless, mission complete. I wonder what'll happen to Alice next. It's probably next to impossible for her to make it in the industry now. Her scandal is big news. No matter why she did it, there are still consequences for her actions. But if Alice really can find that feeling she had when she first discovered fashion, I think she'll be okay. She can still be a ray of light for others, even if she has to find another way to shine. That reminds me. We should still try to press her for info. She might know something that we still don't. But do we actually have a chance of meeting her now? I imagine her day-to-day -day life's become quite the mess. Ah, jeez, that's a good point. Her agency isn't going to want anything to do with her. An enlightening conversation as always in here. What's up? How's it hanging, folks? Ah, you again, Gramps? Hey, I won't deny I'm older than you guys, but... That still stings, you know? But more importantly, you guys really hop to work when your minds are set, don't you? To what are you referring? Don't play stupid. I gave you solid intel, yeah? Yes, but that's... Well, that's good news. Looks like I'll be getting my own in return. Your own what? I came here today for your response to my offer. You know, the deal. We already told you we don't work with cops. And what if I tossed in a little bonus? Such as running some questions by Alice for you. You were just saying you wanted info from her, right? That's accurate. But Alice already confessed to messing with people on live TV. Our names have been cleared. Yeah, what she said. We don't need you for shit. If only that were true. What do you mean by that? How is this case not closed? Oh, it is far from closed. This change of heart epidemic is happening all over the country. And we know they can't all be Alice's victims. Therefore, you still have plenty to get pinned on you, don't you? Not only that, you already know how badly you've stirred the pot. That little calling card stunts fired up the public more than ever. These change of heart cases have to be the Phantom Thieves. It's the only thing I hear down at the station now. 
Do you really not realize how dangerous a position you're in right now? What bullshit? What the hell did we do? Calm down. Why do you think I offered you that deal? If I wanted to, I could cuff you and take you in right now. The reason I'm not is because I believe you are not the culprit. To catch the true perpetrator, I need your help. As in the person controlling Alice behind the scenes. The M.O. in this recent epidemic doesn't mesh with the Phantom Thieves' ideology. The motives also appear very different. These are two separate cases. At least, that's what I believe. <sighs> May we have a moment to ourselves? We'd like to discuss it first. Sure, I'll be right outside. Just holler when you're ready for me. Now this is unexpected. We assumed Alice's confession would clear our names. Damn it. So they really weren't just trolling. What is it? When I was searching the web, I noticed some people saying weird stuff was happening here and there, similar to what we've seen so far. Almost none of them made the news, and it seems like everyone's just trying to ignore it, but... but Gramps is sane. It's probably not bullshit after all. What should we do? If they decide to scapegoat us, we'll never be able to clear our names. They're not even changing hearts for the same reasons as us. If there really are other brainwashing incidents out there, that would mean there are more jails. Do you think there could be more monarchs out there, too? And what would we do? Considering what we've gathered, going along with that man could be a viable option. Are we seriously gonna trust that dude? What other choice do we have? At the very least, his intel about Alice was useful. What do you say? You're right. All we can do now is accept his deal. Now wait. Even if we do level with him, how would we explain it? If he's going to understand what we've been doing, he'll have to learn about the metaverse. Do you think he'll even believe us? We have no choice but to make him believe. Otherwise, it's our leader on the line. But, but, the metaverse, the jail, how do you think we're gonna get some thick-headed cop to buy that? <sighs> it seems our only choice is to take him to the jail. Wait, really? Mako-chan. Can you think of any other way for him to avoid getting arrested? We have one playable card in our hand. We just have to go along with it for the time being. All right, we'll do it. It's not like we have any alternative. Let's hope it's not our undoing. Ah, shit. We gotta stay prepared for the worst case. I'll call him back in. Come on back. We're ready for you. Huh, that was quicker than I expected. So, what say you all? There's a place we need to show you. Follow us. Jail full of shadows. With a monarch seizing desires, was it? All right. What say we go get you tested for drugs now? <laughs> if you're gonna cook up some fantasy to sell me, maybe try a little less spice next time? Just save it for now. We're about to take you into the cognitive world. Cognitive world? Follow us. Huh? Where to, exactly? So, are you gonna answer me, or...?
What? What is this? Isn't real. <laughs> Everything here is real. Every last bit you can see. Whoa. What happened? What are those outfits for? Yep, just about what I expected. This is our Phantom Thief attire. <laughs> what even is this? Where am I? Christians, this is a jail. You are currently located within a jail. Wait, who are you? I am Sophie, humanity's companion. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to... What? Chill out, Zenkichi. You gotta keep yourself together. Yeah, yeah, right. I can't be losing my shit like... Monster Cat! <laughs> I am not a monster cat! I am Morgana! You finally believe we've been telling you the truth? The hell? How much did I drink last night? This just had to be a dream. I'm still passed out. You holding up there, Gramps? No need to worry. He's merely having a meltdown. Uh, that still sounds rather worrisome. <laughs> Looks like we blew his mind. Oh, brother. I suppose we may as well head back now. How did this... What's happened to me? Did I drive myself crazy trying to crack this case? <laughs> it's pretty fun watching him lose it. Hmm, his brain probably overloaded and he can't catch up. Oh, why'd we even bother explaining it all beforehand? We all reacted similarly during our first time. Ah, oh, such innocence. Get a hold of yourself, Gramps. Sheesh. How long do you need to get it together? Come on, Earth to Zenkichi! Huh? Oh, right. Right! Get it together. This cat said my name! <laughs> Wait, are you that monster cat from that place? It's the monster cat! Not a monster or a cat! I told you I am Morgana! Since you're cognizant of Morgana speaking in the metaverse, you can understand him here now, too. Cats can talk if I'm cognizant of it? <laughs> That's really something! <laughs> I think he's going to need a little more time to process all of this. First off, sorry for losing my cool like that. I think I get what's going on, though. Actually, none of it makes any sense to me. But I'm going to strive to understand. If we're going to make a deal, then that will make us conspirators. Conspirators have to vow never to betray one another's trust. <laughs> so, you already know how all this works. All right, all right. Your trust is repaid with mine. Help me figure out this nationwide change of heart business, and I'll make sure you're all protected. As long as you cooperate, I won't allow the police to lay a finger on you. That's my vow. Good. I look forward to working together. In that case, I'm going to cut right down to it and ask for your help with a similar incident. PubSec has their eyes on Sapporo right now because of all the change of heart cases there. I need you in Sapporo Central City by August 8th. Why does it need to be the 8th? Our suspect's out of the country on a business trip until then. We're kicking off the investigation within the hour of their arrival back home. I see. Very well. So it's likely this suspect in Sapporo is another monarch, like Alice. That could be. If so, then I'd have to ask you guys to handle it. So, we're heading to Sapporo Central in Hokkaido, huh? This'll be quite the little trip for us. Uh, word of caution? You'll definitely want to avoid any sort of public transportation. You're gonna want to either drive or hoof it. Why is that? 
You revived the Phantom Thieves to deal with Alice. Any potential monarch will have heard about it. The way they see it, you're a real problem. Especially if you go after their own desires. They're definitely all on high alert now. They may even try to get rid of us. There's no way to know who's brainwashed until after they act. What if one of them was the pilot of your plane? But if we can't fly, how do we get to Sapporo? Find a car you can use. That'd be safest. You're not gonna set us up with one? Sorry, but I've got to keep this investigation top secret. Any aid would just leave a trail back to this deal of ours. Oh, and one more thing. Don't worry about the Alice thing. I'll fill you in once I'm done grilling her. Well, here's to a solved case. Same here, Zenkichi. Ah, uh, right. Sorry I called you a monster cat, Kitty. Oh, you'll be sorry! Okay. You didn't go crazy. This is real, Zenkichi. Kill. I mean, Hokkaido? Really? Uh, there goes our vacation down the drain. Ain't this stuff happening all over Japan anyways? Even if we do solve this one, we're just gonna get sent off to some other city. A traveling venture in cooperation with public security. I admit it doesn't sound all bad. We should stop by Kyoto as well. Find that silver lining, Inari. This trip isn't for our enjoyment. The case will still be our primary objective. But it's still summer vacation. Can't we have just a little fun? Yeah, the 8th is way off from now. We can still do all kinds of shit before then. Oh, I'd like to experience some regional cuisines. Yeah, yeah, sushi for me. Phantom road trip time. Oh dear. We can cut loose after the case is closed. That being said, we should go over some things before we move on to the trip. First up is Emma. It seems like an ordinary app at first, but now we know that it has a hidden function that can access jails. Yeah, totally the same thing. To think something like that is being used nationwide it sends a chill down my spine. The app itself is fine though, right? I mean, you can just delete it if you want. Plus, all the keyword and friend list functions work fine. If the app just let everybody slip into jails, wouldn't the whole country basically be pure chaos already? We've all registered as friends on it, but that didn't do anything strange in and of itself. Where did this app come from anyway? It's run by a Japanese company called Medis. They're an international IT firm. We're talking tens of thousands of employees. That's quite the large-scale operation. With those numbers, they have to be a top-tier international enterprise. So is this some evil mega-corporation making jails or something? But we can't use Emma the same way Alice did. Well, maybe that's because we all got pure hearts. Or something. <sighs> Moron. There's a possibility that Alice had a special version of Emma. What makes you say that? Uh, just an idea. I'm grasping at straws over here. But it is a possibility. If I got a hold of Alice's phone somehow, I should be able to see if her version of Emma is anything special. Really? You should ask Inspector Hasegawa if he could confiscate it for us. I'll reach out to him later over it. All right, next topic? The jail. Each palace collapsed after the treasure inside was stolen. But the jail is still in Shibuya. Not only that, but the palaces are the manifestations of their rulers' cognitions. But that's not true at all in jails. Humans can have their desires seized from their shadows there. And that would cause terrible things to occur to them in the real world. When you put it all together like that, don't it sound even worse than the palaces? If these other bizarre incidents across Japan are genuine changes of heart, 
That means there are probably more jails out there. There could be quite a few of them, considering how impossible it is to report on every incident. <sighs> so, we're working with the police to try and clear our names, but is that really enough? How do you mean? If the jails are as dangerous as we've seen, then wouldn't it be bad to just leave them alone? If stuff as awful as what happened in Shibuya is happening all over, aren't we the only ones who can stop it? That's right. You're absolutely right. Yes. It's our job to save people suffering helplessly. And give people courage! Only the Phantom Thieves can do it. Great speech, Lady On. You've got us all fired up. That's the plan. Maybe traveling by car will actually work to our advantage. Right. We might find some more jails on the way to Sapporo. That works for me. A little bit of a jailbreak spree along the way. But how do we actually find the other jails? <sighs> Hmm. Hmm. Uh, yes? Uh, it'll only take us about a million years. I believe it may be time for the Sophia show. Ooh, check the super AI! I can detect any jails in the vicinity by scent. For real? Like Teddy? By scent? A jail emits a distinct signature. When I enter a jail's range, I can sense it. Sophia, that is nuts! Praise accepted. There is still much we do not understand. But at least we now have a course of action. Yeah, this is gonna be... to enjoy ourselves along the way. All that's left is to secure our transportation. If this is going to fit all of us, won't it have to be pretty big? We'll just have to rent something. Oh, who knows what it'll cost us. Money is no object to us. The prize funds for my most recent contest entry have finally come. Oh, keep your snack money to yourself. Well, we could have deal with someone in the police. Maybe they'll help pay for our investigation. <sighs> nah, no way. Some pretty big transportation. Hmm. I'm getting this feeling that Sojiro mentioned something along those lines once. Let's go ask him. 